Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for the 21st to 28th of October. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our collective. All right, my loves, here is what we are going to do, okay? We are going to dive in to your week, all right? For those of you that are part of our YouTube membership, a massive thank you to you. Yes, as you can see, I am purging this ease from my bodies all right i talked all about it i uh, got diagnosed with pneumonia it's awesome i love it so good okay well, let's get into your reading here uh the sun the hermit the high priestess walk into a bar just kidding oh my god you guys what okay Okay, you guys, relax here, please. <coughs> I'm like, I'm still healing here. Yeah, just take me for a gosh darn loop. Your girl can hardly breathe here. Okay, I, I, need, a, I need a minute, and so do you. You may want to sit down for this one, babe. You may need to hold on to your undies. I don't, this is not bad. This is fucking. I came in like a wrecking ball. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. What? Okay. If you didn't know, now you're going to know because I'm going to teach you. In tarot, when we are looking at cards, major arcana indicate major life-changing moments in your life. These are like pivotal seeds of inception, that, that, that of inception of change, depending on the characteristics, the qualities of the cards. You have the sun, which is vitality. It is joy. It is new beginnings. It is optimism. You have the hermit, which is introspection, self-reflection, stillness, isolation, maturity. And then you have the high priestess, which is mystery, intuition, psychic abilities, okay? Surrender, trusting, seeing beyond the veil. The star, which is deep healing, hopes and dreams, wishes, okay? I'm focusing on going into the spiritual astral realms to receive the guidance required to navigate this physical uh, 3d realm when i was saying to you that this week was crazy this week is crazy this week is crazy because it is propelling you towards your destiny i think a lot of you you know this is kind of reminiscent of that last reading i did where I was talking about how the world is experiencing a lot of these changes and a lot of these changes seem really fucking ugly. And, you know, Uranus being in your sign right now is creating upheaval in your life. And upheaval and chaos can be viewed as something that is really like scary or it can be viewed as something that is required in order to initiate and instigate change. You know, if you think about it this way, if you've been divorced or you're separated, okay, and I see some of you are having a breakup, maybe you are getting divorced, maybe you are talking about separating, maybe you're making a choice to walk away from a career, a relationship, a partnership here, okay, that breakup is chaos, that breakup is, um, you know, unsettling, it is upheaval, right, you're breaking up a relationship, you're breaking up a home if you're divorcing, separating, and you have kids, right, you're leaving an environment, you're leaving complacency, you're leaving status quo, you're letting that whole tower come down so that you can start from scratch, right, even like when, you know, um, we see demolitions happen, right, and these buildings come down. So if that's happening in your life right now, source is turning around and going, none of this is bad, it's required. Stop looking at it like it's a bad thing. You're, you're, you're giving energy, right? Wherever, wherever energy flows, energy goes. Sorry, wherever energy goes, energy flows. And so how can you be disciplined in your mind right now, Taurus? Discipline, I can accomplish what I set my mind to do. And then you got earth pulsing, pulse of the mother, slow down time in nature. How can you go inward? You know, the sun and the hermit, I mean, even the, high, the star, even the high priestess, look at, look at the, none of these people are in, let's just say like, um, a structure, a home, right? It's not like, um, indoors. 
it's not under any sort of like um, uh, encasement. <coughs> Excuse me. Or building. She's outside, sitting on a bench with the pillars, right? She's outside, chilling, watering her garden. The baby's outside, chilling. <laughs> Do you see a theme here? Rejoicing in the sun, gallivanting through the earth. He's outside, walking amongst what looks like a pier of some sort, the ocean behind him. Water, water, earth. Water and earth, right? Can you go back to earth? Can you go back to mother? Can you go and ask for healing, for guidance, for clarity? I think I've shared this with you guys before. If you've been here for a while, you've known the story. If you're new, hi, I'm happy we found each other. And I'm sorry that I'm sick the first time we're meeting. I, I share with you guys how I have this river um, that's become kind of this like meditative place for me. And I went there a lot when I was pregnant with Charlie. And now I go and I ask mother to help, right? When I'm going through difficulty, when I'm going through challenges, I go back to earth and I'm like, please show me the way. Take this from me or help me with this. Guide me, right? Oh, look what you got. What, does that, what is that? That's a river. That's a waterfall. Look how the person is encapsulated in the earth and the water. Hey, choo, bless me. I'm so sorry. It says, pulse of the mother, slow down time in nature. And then we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to do. And then we have stellium. A stellium is um, a concentrated energy in a certain aspect of your chart. It's three or more planets in a sign. And with all these major arcanas here, you can tell there's a concentration of energy happening in your life. There's something here that is shifting, evolving, growing. And I think for some of you, it's a little bit painful, maybe because you don't want to let go of the safety, the comfort, the security, even though you know you have to. You know, this could be a relationship, unfinished business, a contract of sorts, a career, a job, something that was too many people. When I see the three of swords, three of cup pentacles, that's a, that's a fucking lot of people. And then we got another three here. It makes me feel like there's a lot of, a lot of hands on the pot, right? And the King of Cups wrapping up your reading, telling you, reminding you to be emotionally mature, to be stoic to a degree, right? To sit there and turn around and go, okay, I know I can be compassionate and empathetic. I also don't need to bend over backwards or hurt myself to appease, please other people. Right? And you got Aphrodite as your amulet. This is all about self-love. Our girl Venus, you're ruled by Venus, baby. You better be giving Venus love all the time, Taurus. Some big changes. Let's get into your love reading. Let's see if I can, if I can snoopy snoop and see what's going on. If this has to do with love for some of you, okay? Ten of Cups here. The Six of Wands. And the Two of Wands. Yeah. Hi, ma'am. You just rolling around? It's Raven. She's on the floor. This is, I, I think for a lot of you, this is a realization of what truly brings you happiness, Ten of Cups energy. And maybe a recognition that in the past you weren't necessarily attracting the type of people, King of Swords, yeah, that were giving you that. Hierophant. Yeah, now you're like disciplined, structured, status quo, Four of Wands, Two of Wands. You're saying, I want Ace of Cups judgment. This is what I want and I'm not going to rescind myself. I'm not going to devalue yourself. I'm not going to degrade myself um, and settle. <coughs> Excuse me. This is you seeing that the more that you slow down, the more that you can see the behaviors, the patterns and the necessary changes and as such source starts guiding you towards that place of deep, deep healing. That place where the transformation can occur. I really honestly love this for you. It's like sources turning around and saying, I want to gift you this. I want to gift you it. You deserve it. This is your rite of passage. This is the life that is meant for you. Are you willing to take the necessary steps? Are you willing to do the necessary work? Are you willing to see the magical blessings? 
those are the big questions to be asking yourself, Taurus. This is a week of great major life changes. Really beautiful ones and sweet ones too. Bittersweet sometimes as well. Ones where you'll look back and go, mm, now I see why I had to go through that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pop this video here all about manifesting money because you got that three of pentacles here showing up. Okay, and Aphrodite. If you want to book a session, you want to work with me in any capacity, it's in the description box below. This video will help you with really learning how to tune into your astrology prosperity keys so that you can attract wealth with ease into your life. Thank you so much for your patience as I am recovering. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.